Welcome back to the channel, guys. Art here from Draft Media, talking about the highly anticipated matchup between two top prospects in the 2023 NBA draft class, Victor Wembanyama and Scoot Henderson. In a game orchestrated to see the top prospects square off against one another, the fans were treated to everything they wanted and more. Let's jump right into the film to see how Victor Wembanyama and Scoot Henderson were able to dominate this game. After the initial backdoor cut Scoot was looking for was closed off by Victor, the Ignite moved into a dribble handoff pick and roll which left Waters a step behind on the play. Scoot slams on the brakes to create separation and sinks the mid-range shot. On the next play, we get a glimpse of what Wembanyama brings at the defensive end. A back screen by Scoot causes two Metro 92 defenders to crash into each other, leaving CD Sisisko open inside. A great recovery allowed Victor enough time to rotate over to erase this shot attempt by the G League Ignite. What makes Victor such a unique prospect are plays like this. Standing at 7-4, he waves off his teammates to bring the ball up the court himself and puts Eric Micah in a blender. He shows off his slick handle and the ability to finish through contact. Scoot is going back to the high pick and roll here and is again looking for the mid-range shot. However, this time around Victor is ready for and is playing much higher on the screen. This allows him to use his long arms to block the shot. Scoot is setting another off-ball screen on this action which forces a switch onto him. Scoot's new defender is now out of position which forces him to gamble the passing lane but ultimately costs him a wide open lane to the basket. Scoot is such an explosive and crafty athlete when going downhill that not even Wembanyama was able to contest this shot. In transition, Sisisko is holding Wembanyama until Micah is able to get down there. However, he does a switch and finds himself in no man's land and leaves Micah guarding too. Micah takes a small step forward and Victor makes him pay immediately with the highlight alley even finish. The backdoor cut Henderson was looking for all along was finally there on this play. His defender plays too high up and Scoot runs the lane for the easy downhill finish over Wembanyama. We get to see how unguardable Victor can be at times with his unreal jab step pull up three. Seriously, how could you ever contest this shot? Scoot seemed to take this match up personally. He gets Victor switched onto him, quite literally a very tall task. However, he shows how fearless he is and takes him off the dribble, scoring a beautiful step back three. Scoot rips the ball free to show off his open court speed. By now, you already know if he has a free lane in transition, a highlight play is coming. More of the same on this play. However, instead of a forced turnover, it's off of a defensive rebound. He immediately pushes the pace, but a hiccup in his dribble slows him down for a second, so he decides to go up with the mid-range shot and sinks it. This play perfectly sums up Scoot's game. He's able to use street ball like handles to get downhill and again scores on victory in the paint with a beautiful reverse. Victor Wembanyama shows off his stretch ability on this pick and pop. You gotta love the effort by Scoot to try to close out. However, it was already too late and even if he got there in time, there isn't much he can do to alter this shot. Wembanyama was looking like a sharpshooter in game one, finishing with seven made threes. His jump shot has real potential to be game breaking. With his stature, he's going to be able to virtually shoot over the entire league uncontested. It's just a matter of making the shot, which he's clearly able to do. He also showed off his defensive prowess, finishing with five blocks with the majority coming from Scoot Henderson. These guys showed no fear towards one another. Scoot comes into the paint with a full head of steam looking to put Wembanyama on a poster and instead gets met at the rim for the rejection. We see Victor making the same adjustment as before, playing higher on the screen since he knows Scoot wants the mid-range look. This again allows him to block his shot. However, Scoot has a high basketball IQ of his own. Watch him use Victor's overzealousness to get his big man an open dunk. Again on this play, Wembanyama has his focus on Scoot which allows the roll man just enough leverage to beat Victor. Scoot feeds him with the perfect bounce pass and puts Wembanyama on the poster. He uses his handle again to penetrate the defense, but he knows the job isn't finished since Wembanyama is in the paint. By now he had figured out that all Vic wanted to do was block every shot, so he patiently waits for both defenders to bite the fake and goes up with the easy shot. He must have really liked this move as he went right back to it only a minute later. It's rare to see two prospects getting mainstream media attention so early on into the season, however it's for good reason. Victor Wimbanyama and Scoot Henderson are truly two generational talents. The race for the number one pick isn't as decided as people would think. Scoot has a real chance to catch up to Victor. They are both dynamic players with Superstar written all over them. Make sure to comment down below who you would select with the first overall pick. Thank you guys for watching. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to join the Draft Media family. 